You guys, the cat is out of the bag for the National and Aeronautics Space Administration, AKA NASA. And what you guys wanna know, I wanna tell you. So lucky for us, there is no shortage of things NASA wanted to keep under wraps, but ultimately couldn't keep from me. First on our list today, we have Project Overcast, more commonly known by the name Operation Paperclip. The project was an effort that took place after the Second World War between 1945 and 1959. The goal was to bring the top scientists from Germany and Austria over to the United States for employment opportunities, giving the US a significant leg up in the world of scientific and technological development advancements. Of course, the United States government was not at all naive to the fact that during the time of recruitment, Germany was heavily occupied by, well, I'm not allowed to say it, but it rhymes with Yahtzees. Harry Truman, president at the time, made sure to put measures in place to forbid NASA from bringing into the country any such recruitments. Did NASA listen? No. And among the recruits was infamous Werner von Braun, who played a key role in the development of the V-2 rocket for Yahtzee. Germany. And Warner wasn't the only one of his kind to be recruited and given asylum by the US. In fact, there were hundreds more recruited by NASA, making Operation Paperclip one of the agency's largest political scandals to date. Speaking of scandals, and remember this is part two, so really nothing NASA does at this point should be coming as a surprise to any of us, but once again, it seems that they've managed to make the impossible happen. If you've seen part one, you know that unfortunately many astronauts and cosmonauts have lost their lives either in space or on the ground due to tragic and sometimes avoidable accidents. Well, the very small sliver of a saving grace would have to be that when this happened, at least the families are well taken care of, right? Well, wrong. In fact, you might be just as shocked as I was to learn that all the way up until 2003, astronauts working under NASA had not one shred of life insurance. In fact, in preparation for the Apollo 11 moon landing mission, Neil Armstrong, Edwin, Buzz Aldrin, and the rest of the team actually signed autographs so that their loved ones would have something of value to sell should the astronauts be unable to make it home. Of course, the policies have changed, but the fact that it took NASA until 2003 to do it? Not a great look. Okay, for our next point, let's move on to something a bit more positive. While NASA has been known for making some pretty negative faux pas, there's no denying that on the flip side of their downfalls, they have been able to achieve some pretty amazing things. Some things we're aware of, such as the moon landing, the International Space Station, and the Hubble Telescope, and some things we've been kept in the dark about. And this one is for my sci-fi fans. In 2015, a document was released revealing that NASA had been working on a very special feat, achieving warp drive technology acceleration beyond the speed of light. Sounds pretty far out there, right? Well, I guess NASA has a far reach, as in April of 2015, a team working on various concepts for spacecraft thruster advancements seems to have accidentally done the impossible when lasers shot through a renaissance chamber traveled at an accelerated rate of over 300 million meters per second. The speed of light is 299 million 790 92,458 meters per second. While this is incredible, the team who achieved this scientific anomaly doesn't actually know how they did it. And so naturally they haven't been able to do it since. Next up on our list today, we have the Boeing X-37 space plane, a highly secretive unmanned space shuttle that has been known to orbit Earth for up to 908 days at a time. While the spaceship isn't under NASA's name, it definitely falls under their jurisdiction, as it is said that its year-long missions carried out by the US government are in an effort to conduct technological experiments. The space plane is quite small, taking off and landing via runway, and while its mission logs are sealed, it has been been photographed on many occasions. It has been highly speculated that the purpose of the space plane is much more than simply conducting experiments and collecting data, with some saying that it has been used to spy on foreign countries and governments, and others believing that it is a preemptive protection measure for imminent upcoming space war. What do you guys think? And of course, at our halfway point, we're gonna keep things light today and talk a little bit about a topic that is so overplayed, but also never really gets old, and that is 
aliens, or specifically aliens on Mars. Now, we're gonna have to take this one with a grain of salt, but do me a favor and try your best to keep an open mind. In 2014, Jackie, a woman who claimed to have worked on the Mars rover project in 1979, came forward to share her story. She told the public that while monitoring the rover's live video feed, she noticed two humanoid figures in what appeared to be spacesuits approach the camera. She ran to tell her bosses and then went to return to her station, but it seemed she'd been locked out of her room and the whole thing was covered up by the agency. While the figures were originally thought to be aliens, now many conspiracy theorists believe that perhaps what she uncovered was not extraterrestrial life forms, but rather a secret manned mission to Mars. And again, I'll let you guys decide the answer to this one. All right, next up we have the James Webb Space Telescope, a $10 billion piece of highly advanced technological equipment sent into space on December 25th of 2021. If you think the Hubble is cool, you're gonna go crazy for this guy because the James Webb Space Telescope was actually designed to capture images too far and too faint for the Hubble making it quite possibly the most advanced telescope in existence to date. In fact, it has been reported by scientists at NASA that using the James Webb, they were actually able to see the edge of our universe, a previously unreachable feat. I really can't decide if that's terrifying or amazing, so I'm gonna go with both. Because of the incredible reach of the telescope and its ability to capture clear images, even at a wildly far distance, many people believe that its quest for deep space discoveries has been used as a cover-up for the fact that the United States government has been using the NASA-made marble to spy on the people of Earth and gather intel again on foreign governments. I mean, it's totally possible, but I think they have the Boeing for that, right? Okay, next on the list, we have another pretty big embarrassment for the space agency. You know, the space agency that is said to be at the forefront of global technological advances. The agency employing some of America's top scientists, physicists, and engineers. Well, you'd think that based on NASA's roster, they'd have little to no problem when it came to keeping their systems secure and their secrets safe from outsider access, but you know, NASA has actually been hacked a number of times, believe it or not, perhaps the most famous incident taking place in 1999, when James, at just 15 years of age, hacked into the agency's databases and obtained incredibly sensitive information, including source codes and proprietary software worth millions of dollars. In 2000, James came under the investigation of the FBI, but it wasn't until 2007 that he was arrested for his crimes, which included stealing data from NASA defense contractors. James, however, was never convicted of his crimes as in 2008, after almost a full year of strenuous legal battles, it was reported that he took his own life in an attempt to escape prosecution. The legitimacy of James's death, however, was called into question by many members of the public who wondered if it really was the young man's decision to end his own life, or if perhaps there was something much more sinister at play. Maybe a cover-up attempt by the government or NASA fearing what might come to light should the case continue. Starting off our top three today, we have the incredibly elusive series of NASA missions to Africa. These strange occurrences came to light after NASA aircrafts were spotted touching down on an American airstrip located in Eastern Africa. When the agency was questioned about its presence in the foreign country, they had originally declined to comment. It wasn't until after the public began speculating their arrival in Africa to be in regards to military activity, anti-terror efforts, ground relief, and war preparation that NASA came forward with a statement, claiming that their reasoning for landing in Africa was to conduct ground observations that would allow scientists to better understand biodiversity in the area. Okay, but if that's true, why didn't they just say that in the first place? I don't know you guys, something seemed off here, but as always, let me know what you think. Next on our list today, we have NASA refusing to recognize that they might just be way off in their calculations of Earth's close proximity asteroid sizes due to insufficient calculation methods. In a 33-page scientific paper released in 2013, author and co-founder of Intellectual Ventures, Nathan Meyerwald highlighted the ways in which NASA had incorrectly calculated the size of 164,000 asteroids and offered solutions for recalculating in order to correctly 
identify the threat level posed by each one. In the article, Nathan also stated that any mistake made by a factor of just two in diameter is a mistake of a factor of eight in energy, meaning that any calculation of impact would change drastically with even the smallest calculated increase to an asteroid size. In 2018, five years after the initial reports were published, NASA responded to the paper saying that it contained many mistakes and lacked peer review. But they failed to provide to the public any new information backing their original methods and proving their original calculations. Perhaps NASA got it right, but honestly, if the Mars Rover Observer from part one of this video is any indication, I really don't trust their math. Like, at all. And finally on our list today, we have NASA's solar competition. Solar power competition, that is. NASA became pretty sheepish when a number of reports were released stating that far ahead of them in the pursuit of a large-scale solar energy source is none other than China. Furthermore, it appears that not only is China ahead of NASA when it comes to sun-powered renewable energy, but they are actually at the forefront of solar energy development as a whole. Solar panels created by scientists in China are said to be some of the best in the world, collecting energy 24 hours a day, all year long. And China also has the largest solar farm in the world, which is so immense it can actually be seen from space. On top of all of this, the country has recently revealed plans to launch a commercial-scale solar-powered state in orbit by the year 2050, allowing them to directly harness the sun's energy from space and far surpass NASA's solar abilities to date. Okay guys, that's our video for today. Again, a super fun one to do. I've been your host, Hannah Thompson, and I will see you in the next video.